All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right and staying solid in these times that we're in. I hope you're staying strong and improving your daily lives. I pray that you are getting more wise and more solid and your relationship with God is getting better. And I pray that your current situation that you've been having challenges with or dealing with is getting better as well. Now, today's message, I want to discuss about making sure you provide a great service. You know, whether you're a business owner or you work a certain job or you're dealing with customers or you're dealing with helping people or charities or any good deed you're doing, man, make sure that it's a great service and that you also dedicate to God and you provide a great service for God. You know, because when you are a person where people are going to you for things or going to you for business or advice or counsel or whatever, make sure you're giving them great things. Don't leave people empty handed. Don't leave people high and dry. Don't leave people asked out. Make sure you're helping people out and putting them on and making sure they're well taken care of and you're doing right by people. Because our service is everything. Whether it's your service in your career, your service in your education, your service in your in the military or service in your career or job endeavors or your business, whatever you're doing, whatever you got your hands on, whatever you're productive and make sure you're providing great stuff, all right? If you are a musician... Make sure you're putting your all into those tracks, okay? If you are a business owner and you're selling items, selling products, make sure your stuff is top tier, top quality stuff, okay? It's not about quantity and how much sales and how much it costs. It's about the quality of what you're giving out, okay? If you are an athlete, make make sure you're always giving it your all physically, mentally, and that you make it more about more than yourself. Don't make it all about you. Have different intentions and purposes and motivations to why you do what you do. All right. Make sure you have a why and a story behind your service as well. Okay. If you own a restaurant, make sure you're giving out the best food there is. You know what I'm saying? Everything we do, everything we put our hands on, make sure it's it's just legit. You know what I mean? Because you never want to give out below average stuff. You always want to give out excellent things, great things. You feel me? Don't do nothing average. Don't be half-assing it. Don't do below average stuff. Stop settling. You know, keep striving and keep going higher and just keep just keep going up, 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 keep going above, you know, because there's always more work to be done. There's always room for improvement. There's always much more things you could do better. You know what I'm saying? Never get complacent. Never get, you know, stagnant. Always keep going up. You know what I'm saying? So what I want to do is just, you know, read some scriptures about doing service and also ministry and service in the God and other people as well. Uh, let's go. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 7, with good will render service as to the Lord and not to men. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 7, if service in his serving or he who teaches in his teaching. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 5, and there are varieties of ministries in the same our Lord and the same Lord. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 13, because it approved given by this ministry, they will glorify God for your obedience to your confession of the gospel of Christ and for the liberty of your contribution to them and to all. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 6, not by way of eye service as men pleasers, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. The book of John chapter 16, verse 2, they will make you outcast from the synagogue, but an hour is coming for everyone who kills you to think that the offering service to God. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 12 For the equipping of the saints for the work of service To the building up of the body of Christ The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 12 For the ministry of this service is not only filling, is not only fully supplying the needs of the saints But is also overflowing through many thanksgivings to God The book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. The book of Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. The book of Luke chapter 12, verse 35. Be dressed in readiness and keep your lamps lit. The book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, do your work heartily as for the Lord rather than for men. The book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent out to render service for the sake of those who will inherit salvation? 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 13. Then the Lord said, because this people draw near with their words and honor me with their lip service, but they remove their hearts far from me and their reverence for me consists of tradition learned by rote. The book of first Corinthians, chapter eight, verse six. Yet for us, there is but one God, the father from whom are all things and we exist for him and one Lord Jesus Christ by whom all are, are all things and we exist through him. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 17. Therefore, in Christ Jesus, I have found reason for boasting in things pertaining to God. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 5. But if a man does not know how to manage his own household, how will he take care of the church of God? Let me read that again. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 5. But if a man does not know how to manage his own household, how will he take care of the church of God? The book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 2. Shepherd the flock of God among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but voluntarily, according to the will of God, and not for sordid gain, but with eagerness. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 31, verse 21. Every work which he began in the service of house of God and law and a commandment seeking his God, he did with all his heart and prospered. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 16, verse 15. Now I urge you, brethren, you know the household of Stephanus, that they were the first fruits of Achia, and that they have devoted themselves for ministry to the saints. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse thirteen: For if we are beside ourselves, it is for you; it is for God. If we are of sound mind, it is for you. The book of Galatians, chapter five, verse thirteen: For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not turn from your freedom into an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12. I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has strengthened me because he considered me faithful, putting me into service. The book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the, in the Garden of Eden to cultivate it and to keep it. The book of Psalm 104, verse 14. He caused the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the labor of man so that he may bring forth fruit from the earth. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. The book of Psalm 127, verse 4. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17. And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. Let me read that again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17. And the work of righteousness will be peace and the service of righteousness, quietness and confidence forever. I just want to read that one more good time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17. And the work of righteousness will be peace and the service of righteousness, quietness and confidence forever. The book of Philippines, chapter 2, verse 4. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Okay, so services is important, man. Make sure you're providing a great service. You're doing a great service for God when it comes to doing the will of God and hand, helping people and ministry and, you know, ministering to people, what have you. You're doing a great service on your own personal behalf. You know, you're providing good business or providing a good word or providing any help or lending hand you can, you know. And let's see from here now. The book of Psalm 2, verse 11, worship the Lord with reverence and rejoice with trembling. The book of Psalm 101, verse 6, my eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, what they will do, what they may dwell with, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in a blameless way is the one who will minister to me. Okay. The book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24, no one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money, mammon or wealth. The book of Romans chapter seven, verse six. But now we have been released from the law, having died to that by which we were bound so that we, was, so that we serve in newness of the spirit and not in the oldest of the letter. The book of Romans chapter 12, verse 11. Not lagging behind in, dil in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. The book of Acts chapter 20, verse 19, serving the Lord with all humility and with tears and with trials, which came upon me through the plots of the Jews. 
the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 13. For you were called to freedom, brethren. Only do not turn your freedom into an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. The book of John, chapter 12, verse 26. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The Father will honor him. The book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 18. For he who in this way serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 24. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. It is the Lord Christ whom you serve. The book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 15. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and they serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tabernacle over them. All right. Now, let's see. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 3. There will no longer be any curse. And the throne of God and the Lamb and of the Lamb will be in it, and his bond servants will serve him. Hallelujah. So let's keep, you know, providing a great service. Let's keep let's keep serving the Lord. Let's keep helping people, all right? Good discipleship, you know, just good doing right by people, all right? Let's provide a great service in everything that we do. So what I want to do is remind y'all how great the most high and his son is, and just go from there. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the Beloved Son, the Blessed and Only Ruler, the Branch, the Bread of God, the Bread of Life, the Bridegroom, the Capstone, the Captain of Salvation, the Chief Cornerstone, the Chief Shepherd, Christ, Christ of God, consolation of israel the cornerstone the counselor the creator the day spring the deliverer the desire of the nations the desire of the nations the door the elect of god emmanuel the eternal life the everlasting father the faith and true witness faithful and true faithful witness first and last first begotten first born from the dead first born over all creation the forerunner the gate the glory of the lord god the good shepherd the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hearer of all things, the high priest, the holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel, king of kings and Lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, Lord, Yah, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yeshua, Yahweh ben Yahweh, Ahai Yeshaya, Shalom, Barakatha, our righteousness, Lord of all, Lord of glory, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice passed over lamb, power of God, precious cornerstone, prince of kings, prince of life, prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine, the way, the truth, and life, the wisdom, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word of God, the word, the word of life and the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So just want to remind you how great the most high and son is as we're closing out. So that's the message, y'all. I pray to God that whoever listens as much as I pray that you get baptized, you start your life over for the Lord. I pray that you have new beginnings and things open up for you. And I pray that think your life turns around for the better. I pray that your relationship with God gets much stronger and better. I pray that everything you touch your hands with, anything you put your hands on will prosper. 
I pray that you provide a great service for people. I pray that you look out for people and you bless others as well. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.